Hi there, Scorpios. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at May 22nd through May 28th. It's a really good time to be a Scorpio because if anyone can fly under the radar and hide under the radar, it's you. And if anybody, if anybody needs to do that, it's probably this week. There's an intrusive new moon, an inquisitive new moon, I should say, in Gemini this week. Venus is in Aries and, of course, Mars and the Sun are in Gemini as well. There's a lot of fire and air energy. The only thing that you've got going for you really right now is Mar Mercury is in Taurus. And, of course, Mercury is the planet of words and Taurus is your opposite sign. So if you've got something to say it, say it loud, say it proud, and make sure you say it to the right person. There's nothing worse than saying something and realizing after you've said it that you probably misdirected it, that you probably meant to say it to somebody else. But because you were flummoxed or not as organized as you should have been, you said it to somebody who is now kind of wondering what the hell you were talking about. So make sure you have it organized, who exactly it is you want to say, whatever it is you've got to say to, and pick the right time and place. Bit of a topsy-turvy week this week, as I said, and a week where it's every man for themselves. So Scorpios, if you feel like laying low, do so. It's one up and two down this week with an inquisitive new moon another difficult square for Venus, and a nasty Mars-Saturn opposition. Thursday, May 25 is the big day of the week, and Venus kicks it off with a square to Pluto. This is tough. This is a tough time for love and also for the financial sector, and we're finding that the stock exchange is actually not doing very well. I noticed today with the, all of the Russia trouble that the U.S. stock market had taken a bit of a beating and I think that you know that's very cyclical and we can't get worried about it because one day it's up one day it's down it's just the way it is this week but it, because it indicates obsession dangerous power play and dead-end relationships so all of that sounds like a telenova it sounds rather juicy and exciting it's just that the planetary activity really is all over the place Thursday is a great day to double down and start not one but two new things at once because that's the day the Gemini new moon is moving towards a trine with lucky Jupiter. If you grab this new moon by the tail, Scorpios, it is going to roar. The fly in this week's ointment arrives late on Sunday, May 28, in the form of a face-off between Mars and Saturn bringing obstacles, roadblocks, and delays. The good news is that this nasty little opposition lasts for only one or two days, and this is the only time it happens this year. If things don't seem to be going your way, try sitting this one out and have another go at the end of next week, Scorpios. Thanks so much for checking in. I appreciate it. Keep calm and walk the dog, and I'll speak to you next week.